Today we are going to draw a pumpkin spice latte. And I'm sure your parents know what a pumpkin spice latte is. But you might even see it in the stores. You might see pumpkin spice Cheerios. You might see pumpkin spice cookies. You might see pumpkin spice everything. So we are going to jump on the pumpkin spice bandwagon and draw a pumpkin spice latte. So you're going to hold your paper side to side. You are going to use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker and we're going to get started. We want a nice big cup of latte, which is a coffee. So let's start out with a straight line across. We're going to leave a little room on the side because we're going to add something there. But make sure you have enough room over here. Now you're going to make a U shape, make a big U. Once you draw a U, now if you don't have enough room, you're going to do this on the other side. I'm going to do mine here, but if you don't have enough room, you do it on the other side. We're going to make a C shape, a backward C. Once we draw a backward C, we're going to make a little C inside, a backward C. So now you can see your mug. Now if you don't have enough room, you just do it on this side. Not a big deal. Once we draw that, we're going to draw our whipped cream on top. So watch, we go like this. Bump. Bump, 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 and then we make a little point. And if you have trouble, just make like clouds all around it. And that, you could do that too. Now, our pumpkin spice latte has cinnamon sticks. So we're gonna make two cinnamon sticks. One, two, and then we're gonna add another one. One, two, and then on the top, we're gonna make a little swirl inside. And if you can't make a swirl, just make a little circle. And then you can make a little swirl inside if you want. Now, we're gonna add a little line because the cinnamon stick has a line there. So we've now made our two cinnamon sticks. And cinnamon sticks, they smell wonderful. And we're gonna draw right now our eyes because this is a cartoon. So we're gonna make two circles. We did this before, we've had the two highlights which are the reflections of light. And then you guys are going to color in the eyeball. Remember not to color the white dots because the white dots are the light. Remember, you can always pause, go check out your eyes, see the little reflections of light in the mirror. Take your time, color this. Once we draw the two eyes, get all the white spots in there, we're gonna draw our little mouth. Now, since he loves pumpkin spice latte, we're going to make his little tongue stick out and make a little line right there. So we have our little pumpkin spice latte. Don't forget your little eyebrows. And now we have our pumpkin spice latte. Now, for our pumpkin spice latte, I feel like he needs a little friend over here. So let's make a circle. We're going to make a pumpkin. We're going to make two lines and a line on top. Now, for our little pumpkin, we're going to draw one line, two lines to the bottom of the pumpkin. And we should draw all the way to the top too. Sorry about that, my marker didn't work. Now, we're gonna draw our little eyes. Now he's a cute little pumpkin, so let's make a curve, a curve, and just a little smile. And we'll give him some little eyebrows. And then we're gonna draw the table. We've drawn a table before with a couple of our projects. So the table goes across, it doesn't go through. So we start up here, make the table, then it pretends to go through the little pumpkin, goes to the cup, goes here, and then here. So we now have our table. So we have drawn our pumpkin spice latte. And sometimes if you want, sometimes they put little sprinkles on top of the latte. So if you wanna add little sprinkles, that's okay too. So you are going to color your pumpkin. Let's start. Oh, before we color, remember to trace everything with your black crayon. Take your time, go slow, trace everything, and remember to color in the eyes. So we're gonna color in our pumpkin. He's usually an orange color, so let's color him orange. Now, if you want a white pumpkin, that's fine. If you want a yellow pumpkin, that's also fine. But usually pumpkins are usually an orange color. Let's color his stem. And the cinnamon sticks are actually brown, so we can make those brown. Now for the cup, you can make your cup whatever color you want. So if you want a green cup, a red cup, a blue cup, I'm gonna just use orange because I had that out. So I'm gonna do an orange cup. If you want a green cup, that's fine. But don't do what I just did, which was color the eye go around. Make sure you take your time. I was talking, so I did not pay attention. So I color my mug. And my handle. 
my tongue I'm going to make maybe pink. You're going to color your table whatever color you want. So color your whole table. We did this with our apple project, so I know you guys know how to do this. We colored the whole bottom of the table just like this. And then you're going to color the top another color. So you take your time and color the whole top one special color. Make sure you get all in between and you go all the way to the edge. Make sure you get in here. Take your time. Go slow. I'm going very fast, but you guys are going to take your time. When you are done, make sure that you have a parent take a picture for you and we are going to post it onto Seesaw. And I cannot wait to see your yummy, yummy, yummy pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, I forgot one little thing. Don't forget to color your little sprinkles. Okay, now you can take a picture. Cannot wait to see them.